fans for the duration of the season, Budweiser will be presenting the top 60 legendary moments in Dodger Stadium history, as voted by you, the fans. Tonight is moment number 48. There have been but a handful of games in the 60-year history of Dodger Stadium that began at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But on July 20th, 1970, Bill Singer made twilight time his time. He pitched a no-hitter against the Phillies. His teammates used to call him Billy No-No because when jogging, he'd often be shaking his head. After Jeff Torborg caught the final out of the game, the No-No was complete. It's Torborg who's got it. They call him Billy No-No. They always say that nobody says anything on the bench during the course of a no-hitter. Did anybody say anything to you? I did quite often. I'd rather talk about it and uh, relieve the tension than my, my tension and the uh, player's tension that way. I, Willie Davis made a good play on a fly ball, and I, I just way to keep protect my no-no, Willie. And... It was the first no-hitter by a Dodger right-hander since Sal the Barber Maglin in Brooklyn in 1955. The Singer throwing machine's no-hitter the only one by a Dodger pitcher in the 70s. Legendary moment number 48.